there's the Big Dipper, there's Pisces, and there is Orion's Belt. Why is it that the only constellation I can ever find is Party the Space Bear? Ben, stop mm -hmm. working and admire the sky. I don't have time for that. I need to perfect my listener scope so I can make the science world forget all my recent embarrassments. What embarrassments? Buddy, your last few ideas were great. The half-body transporter, the food molder, the shadow that can fight you. Hmm, okay, yeah, maybe they were embarrassments. But that's about to change. Imagine a telescope for your ears. Oh, neat, I think. Is that neat? It better be. I can't stay in this slump. If this invention is another dud, I'm quitting science. <gasps> no. Come on, space. Bring the noise. Let's go. Show me something cool. Don't make me beg. Fine, I'm begging. Leave me alone with my failure. That's it. The end of my career. I am the worst inventor of all time. I don't want to look at any stars. Not after what they did to Ben. Hello! Can you hear me? I am contacting you from space. Outer space. Oh, I am the best inventor of all time! Ben, before you quit science, I want you to know that I believe you'll have a good invention again. You mean like the listener scope? No, they're all gonna laugh at you for that one, but you'll bounce back. Laugh, you say? <laughs> uh... Once they meet Alan, they'll be too busy praising my brilliance to laugh. And then I'll be the one who's laughing. Wait, who's Alan? Alan is the alien I befriended last night. I bring you greetings from the planet space. That thing works? That's incredible! And we can understand each other because Alan is using a universal translator. Thank you! Otherwise, all you would hear me saying is, you need to watch it, <laughs> Just chatting with an alien. I should bet they will make a statue of me, you know. After all, this is the biggest scientific advancement since the wheel. I come from a planet where all wheels are square. I'm sorry I doubted you. This is amazing, Ben. I forgive you, Tom. If genius were easy, everyone would do it. Ah! Ginger! Put this alien deflector on! Because we're at Alien Invasion Alert 6. You're worried about Ben's alien? We just kicked it. He's cool. Oh, you think he's cool? Well, that changes nothing! Because he's obviously evil and trying to take over the world, like in every alien TV show and movie ever! <laughs> Ginger, Ben wouldn't let that happen. He's careful with his science. Was he careful that day he turned the toilet into a time portal? Hmm. You got a point there. I'm so glad I found you, Alan. This listener scope was my last chance for scientific redemption. Well, you did it, buddy. Everyone on my planet thinks you're great. Everyone? Wow, no one ever agrees on anything on this planet. That's why we could never make a planetary defense system. Really? That's, that's good to know. We could never fight off an invasion. Why, I can list at least four ways to take over this planet. Good thing you're friendly. Uh, do you have any more tinfoil? Tom, on his planet, they wear glasses so they can see worse. It's incredible. Ben, we're worried your science is out of control. Don't be too hard on him. This could have happened to any of us. But you're putting the world in danger. So let's break this thing. I call for a smash. Stop! You don't know what you're talking about. With this listener scope, I can bring alien technology to Earth. Then all the scientists will have to respect me. And the world will be a better place, too. There you go. Ben has it all figured out. <laughs> Who wants a sandwich? Wait, what? Aww. Alien technology? Alan gave me plans for a machine. I don't know what it does, but he says it will be explosive. Explosive? Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing? Earth-shattering. No! Don't shatter the Earth! 
every genius deals with naysayers. Well, naysay away. But when the Science Statue Society puts up a statue of me, I'm not going to let any of you look at it. Don't you see? He's building a machine to bring in an alien invasion force. So what's our plan? Give him the benefit of the doubt? No, we have to stop him. A local scientist claims to have an invention that'll change the world. People are skeptical. This better be fast. Yes, this had better not be another classic Ben failure. Uh, um, welcome, great thinkers and simple-minded viewers at home. Today, you all witnessed the birth of a new era. Ben, what do you have to say to every scientist you respect and look up to? I say to them, hello, distinguished peers. It is good to be your equal. You are all about to see something from beyond the stars. <gasps> Mission Control here. Tom, are you in Ben's invention? You have to find its master brain. We're looking, and when we find that master brain, we're going to punch it in its stupid master face. And I've got the alien costumes in case everything goes wrong and we have to blend in with them. Ginger, I don't see a master brain. Look harder! We are at Invasion Alert Seven here. Oh, no. Most maximum invasion alert there is. Behold, my interplanetary device. The alien army is coming! Hank, we're oh. almost out of time! Flail your arms wildly and maybe we'll hit something. I'm sorry, Tob. I can't do that. Huh? This was designed by an advanced alien mind so that our planet can join our friends amongst the stars. Behold, the device. For my statue, I'd like this pose. Or maybe uh, this pose. Or <laughs> some... Um, mm -hmm. that's a water slide. What? No, it isn't. Look at the way the tubes spiral in a fun but also safe corkscrew and end in a pit that's clearly designed to be filled with water. That's definitely a water slide. No, it can't be. Dude, there's a picture of a starfish wearing sunglasses on it. I, I thought that was a symbol from an alien language uh, signifying a star. <laughs> you know Ben's alien? I am Ben's alien. <gasps> He's a body swapper. I knew it. This is all a big misunderstanding. Which is just another word for a lie. Tom! Hank! Where are you? Hank here is about to explain. Right, Hank? Yeah. Funny story. Ben needed a science breakthrough. So I thought I could give him one by pretending to be an alien. I used all my knowledge of things aliens say on TV. Oh, it was working. But then Ben wanted alien technology. And I don't know that stuff, so I thought, well, who doesn't love a good water slide? And here we are. Looks like I really blew it, huh? Oh! No fair! We never have a space war! Ben's making a fool of himself in front of all of the scientists he wanted to impress. Ugh, I wish Alan was here. He'd know just what to do. He's so smart. <gasps> That's it! Angela, bring me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> this could not have gone worse for pathetic local inventor Ben. He should quit science forever. <gasps> Scientists of Earth, <gasps> I am the all-knowing alien, Alan. Oh, Alan, why did you trick me? Was this all some kind of terrible space prank? No, you built a water slide because the Earth needs more sliding. Earth needs more sliding, huh? <laughs> Yes, you totally didn't embarrass yourself today. This is my message of peace to you all. Slide, people of Earth. Slide into 
protect your future! Well, obviously, that's the most ridiculous thing I have ever... You know, now that I look at it, this is the most mathematically fun slide I've ever seen. Uh, 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 exactly! <laughs> what he said! Ben, you've reached out to the stars and brought us amusement that is out of this world. You truly are a genius. Yeah! Let's water party, everyone! Yeah! Yeah! You have a lot of explaining to do, Alan. Hey, you're the one who thought you could talk to aliens. Want to hear my new hit? Subscribe! Now make my new song come true. We just have to make them go to this, and we'll be in Trampoline City. Stop. Are you an idiot? Left, 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 go left! I'm afraid it's worse than I thought. Big, Big trouble, trouble couple? couple.